Leucine is the key amino acid that stimulates muscle protein synthesis, you know, or protein synthesis in general, because you're also talking about the skeletal part as well. Protein synthesis in general within the body. So if your def- diet is deficient in leucine, you're going to have issues. Minimal is about 2.6 um, uh, grams that you really have to have in. Um, and I've actually done a video called Leucine. Do you, um, you know, about leucine and insulin? And I sort of cover that. And it actually shows quite clearly in a fasted state, you can still get more, pro- um, quite a bit of protein synthesis. And that's with just leucine um, itself in a fasted state. Mm. So you'll be shocked how important leucine is. That's why I prefer leucine rather than um, BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, is because they cross inhibit each other. Not that they're not important, but I like to basically take my leucine supplement a bit separate, and that's deliberate, um, in order to not um, – because if you're eating it with, with foods, you're going to get some cross-inhibition. And I like to basically just spike my protein synthesis. And I also combine it with taurine and deliberately because I know that taurine actually has a slightly myostatin inhibition, which amplifies the effects of protein synthesis from leucine in terms of signaling that happens. And also taurine also raises slightly the insulin signaling, which basically beautifully synergistically works with leucine in that regard. So, yeah, it's a bit of a biohack. Um, yeah, I like that. Is that benefit still significant if someone's having multiple feedings per day? So if, for example, someone like yourself is having one or two yeah. meals per day versus four, do you still need to sort of put put it in a, in a fifth mini meal kind of thing? Um, well, you could. You could. Um, uh, it, it depends on how, how long you want to actually be pushing protein synthesis as well. Mm. Uh, so you could do it the other way. You could eat heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of meat, and all that you'll have you'll do is your it'll take you rather than two hours. It'll take you four hours to digest in the stomach, yeah. and then it will rather than being digested over about five hours, it'll, it could be up to eight hours. As and peristalsis will motility from the gut will actually slow down. And actually, taurine plays a role in regulating motility based on nutrient signaling. So that's another reason why the carnivore diet is superior in terms of the the transit time of aminos. So you can slow them down. You know, the advantage yeah. there, you can actually get more of that amino pool over longer periods of time for protein synthesis, something you can't do on a vagunarized diet as well. I just thought I'd throw that in, just another another jab, at, another jab at the Vagoon Society. Um, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so you can actually use uh, leucine um, together in terms of so, trying to amplify protein synthesis um, with taurine before a meal combination. So yeah. it's a bit of just a biohack. Or well, let's say you're doing um, you're doing a a fast, what I call a dirty fast. <laughs> <laughs> and usually a dirty fast, it means that, well, look, a lot of people get concerned, oh, I'm going to fall out of autophagy, I'm going to fall out of ketosis and all that. They go like rampant crazy and all that, and I go, calm down, have a, ch- uh, have a chill pill. Um, this is really what happens. You're not in continuously cat- um, in uh, autophagy when you're fasting. You're basically, it's a pulsatile effect. What happens mm. is it goes up. It goes down. And the reason for that is because as you clear out those organelles, you can actually increase, um, we'll go into that uh, slightly um, soon. You, I haven't actually said this to anyone. You know, I was going to make a video, but I'll actually mention it here. I like Jonathan, so I'll actually no, thank you. Um, I'll, I'll drop a bit, of, a bit of information that most people don't know about. But uh, let me just go back just slightly um, a bit. So let's say you, um, you're doing a dirty fast, first of all. You can throw in there two point um, like six grams. Throw in um, uh, you know a couple of grams of taurine, like three minimal, maybe um, up to uh, you know a bit higher than that, up to four. Combine that, and what you'll actually get is one: you'll get a bit more protein synthesis in that regard, but also 
that usually drops off the signaling because the insulin signaling will drop off. But what happens is, is the interaction between those two in the actual amino pool as amino as things are broken down. You know, the, you've got um, uh, protease enzymes that actually, uh, as stuff comes out, all the you know the junk. You know what I called about earlier about how leucine and arginine help to basically get um, affect the pathways where they clear out some of this crap out of the cell. Well, you can enhance it by using a lower levels of leucine. I'll explain it in it shortly. But you could also do a dirty fast to get a bit of more protein synthesis at the time of fasting by doing that. Now, let's say you say, okay, Harry, I don't want to get any protein synthesis. I just want to maximize autophagy for a long period of time. Well, the trick here, remember the, what I was talking about, that um, caster one and two um, enzymes at the V-type ATPase? Well, they require arginine and the other thing, leucine, to basically clear out the junk out of the cell. And then you provide the, inf- the stuff that means enhances autophagy, the clearing out of the junk. But at the other side, which is another nice thing to do, is but there you have to critically keep the leucine at about 1.1 grams, no more than that. And the other thing you combine is niacin between 75 and 385, I think it was, 385. So I usually, you know, do about, I've got niacin, um, niacin, which is pharmaceutical grade. So it's not the bullshit stuff. It's exactly what it is, 250 milligrams. I take about half of that 125. Um, when I'm doing with food, if I'm not doing food, I'm doing one of these sort of little tricky little fasts where I'm actually trying to enhance autophagy. I will basically use just because by using leucine at 1.1, what you're doing is you're not actually upregulating mTOR. Mm. But what you're doing is you're actually pushing this other these other pathways that are cellular cleaners. I'm not giving a lot of information because I want to do a video and show the science and, the, yeah, and what is involved that, in all guys, that. Yeah. After this video, and, when and, this and by, comes and, out. And, and really, when you combine then citrulline, because remember, if you actually take arginine in, the liver is a bit of a hog, a nasty piece, bit of hog. So the best way to actually get your arginine is L-citrulline. You take L-citrulline in and... What it, what you do is you're combining that. It'll get converted in the kidneys to arginine, but then you'll get far more arginine in the blood vessels, in, and, and it will and it will move throughout the whole body. That will actually enhance these little organelles to basically do their job for cl- cleaning out the autophagy part. So by using 1.1 gram of leucine together with L-citrulline, a couple of grams of L-citrulline, like two or three. When you're doing a fast and combining them together at the same time will enhance autophagy and also do another thing. It will reduce, it will protect against muscle loss. Well, there you go, two advantages. Yes. Mm. So it's a nice little tricky way of using leucine just to send enough protein signaling, protein, um, uh, um, uh, protein um, uh, sort of to send enough signaling in order to tell uh, the those cells do not give up on the actual regular sort mm. of cellular structure of the muscle, but get rid of the stuff that you don't need in there. So you're disposing of the junk, more of the junk. You're enhancing the part that actually is getting rid of more of the junk. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really nice way of basically protecting muscle from loss but at the same time, enhancing AMPK, all those pathways which are beneficial for weight loss, it actually enhances also fatty acid oxidation. Mm. But at the same time, it um, protects muscle from being catabolized. And on the, other, on the other side, it actually enhances the cleaning up of cellular debris inside the cells. It's just a perfect combination. It's a nice little trick about 1.1 um, grams um, together with um, niacin, um, yeah. So it's a nice little trick. 
Yeah, that'd be a good video when it comes out. But uh, but yeah, but also yeah. don't forget you also need the citrulline as well. So it's those mm. three together. Okay.